Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. This is my logo, Phoenix Rampant, the Phoenix Rising. And this is for January 30th, 2023. Four, 24. <laughs> Don't want to go back that to uh, 23 at all, thank you. Uh, it was quite an interesting year. And 2024 is shaping up to be another interesting year. There's my wire. It's getting in the way. I, I do wire work, like this sort of thing, right? So right now I am working on learning a new, new weave. And so I'm using a blue color. So 2024, so far... From what I can gather from the news and talking to different individuals is we're dropping a lot of energy very quickly and very painfully for some people but what I can discern from the news and what I can discern from listening to to astrologers and psychics that I feel are valuable it's 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 a it's like you're trying to keep many balls bouncing at the same time and some of them are going to fall on the floor and some of them are going to keep going up and up and up and take us along with them it is a good year it will go down in the annals of history as a radical year it's not an easy year there's nothing easy about it. I don't care if you've just begun the spiritual journey or, uh, or like me, you've been in it since the 70s, knowingly. I've been in it since, since I was 24. It's a few years. But it doesn't matter with you you're new at it or you're old at it. Everybody is affected by it, and everybody's affected in different ways. Like I said yesterday, if you're new at it, it's a little harder to go through change and shifts than it is if you're an old hand at it, and you've done it for years, and you know this, this too shall pass. Because when you're in the throes of it, even, even me, I'm going... Is it ever going to end? But I, but I don't get stressed about it. With you could see my stress levels are always in the green, red, never in the orange. Even though I have the same things going on in my life that you have in your lives, different different ways of de dealing with it and stuff. But uh, but it's because I have the tools. I have developed tools. I'm good at helping other people develop tools. I, so I was working with a lady last night and she made a comment which I have to say I think is probably a, a good idea what I do I work with the shadow work she says and I do it I help people go through shadow energy quickly and uh, she she's she's been involved for many years and uh, this is what she said about me to me and it is valuable to know that sort of thing for myself. And I do have a I do have a few people that will will come up and tell and s say nice things to me about what I do, and I appreciate that a lot. Honestly, who doesn't like to hear good things, right? Especially since, as I said yesterday, I was going through an existential. Uh, pain, uh, de uh, elevation, growth, wondering, and I'm, st and there's still, I'm still through, I've still got an edge to it, I'm not all the way through, though I do pretty well know that where I'm going to land, I have an idea where I'm going to land, I don't know, because I was, I, I've got to the place where I actually do allow the universe to take control maybe too much because it's a lot easier anyhow going on with that 
what's the energy like? Uh, basically what I said, it dro yesterday is still dropping. You know those kind of bombs. And, uh, but the thing I notice is what I do now is twice as fast as it was this time last year. I have a far, I have far more, more ability to assist. I can't do it for you. That's never been my job, never will be my job. I'm really good at assisting you to do the job. So, and does this sound like I'm uh, doing an ad? Maybe a little bit, but that's more I'm just talking to myself, trying to explain that we're all going through this together. Maybe we do it differently, but it's we're all going through it in the same general direction, which is we want to go to a higher vibrational level. And uh, I find it very fascinating working with energy because it's what I do best. I'm not a healer, though people go away and they can be healed. If I if I do any, but I do clarify things a lot. And uh, anyhow, <laughs> I don't know why I'm spending so much time explaining because that's not my motives. That's not how I do things. But it seems to be the way the energy is moving today. So that's what I what you get. If you want to do shadow work, I'm really good at it. But I don't do it for you. You do it. Because if I do it for you, it doesn't last. But if you do it, it's there. You own it. And uh, I call you I call you out if you don't do your own work. I'm very, very much that way. Uh, okay, so this is for the 30th of January. And I've got the world. And having said that if you don't do your own work, if you don't do your own work, and you won't hear what I'm trying to say, I don't work with you. So you have to be willing to put your life on the line, your own life, okay? And I don't take it with me, it's not mine. So this is for, for the 30th, the world energy is involved. If you work with the world, which is also very closely linked at this moment, very closely linked with the universal energy, you will receive many spiritual gifts. And that's something that's very important to realize and know. So strength. The strength is to move beyond that which we were at before. And that's what we're doing in January. We're heading into February. We are in 2024, full on. And this is a year of coming into our power, coming into our strength, because we're becoming who are our authentic self. Anything that has to do with ego that is in control, that's not your authentic self. But when you have, when you're master of your ego, then you are authentically being you. And rising above that which we were, rising up to be the master of our ego, master of our own own ability to act. We don't react. We, now we re, reaction is when you have no control. Action or acting is because we are the masters of our journey. If you're not there, don't worry about it. It's coming. Like I said, I've been in this position of, I don't know what the heck's happening to me since October. It's coming. Don't worry about it. Uh, I, I haven't. Well, I have. I've taken a few courses with a very good, uh, good uh, teacher, Lee Harrison. I recommend him. I like him a lot. So, basically, what I described to you in my advertisement, and I apologize for that, is what we're going through, we can get through, and we're going to do it. Be patient. Love yourself. Definitely love yourself. I have to run. It's a minute. Namaste. Namaste. I love you. You I do love. Bye.